also been tracking the tropics. Yeah, it's getting quite active out there. And it's not a surprise because we do have the peak of hurricane season arriving soon, September 10th. And with no surprise with that, we have four different areas that we are watching. But the good news is none of these are a threat to us. So again, the peak of hurricane season is September 10th. So it is normal for us to have a lot of things out there right now. And again, no threats to us. But let's start with Hurricane Danielle. Look how funky this track is. So Danielle is maintaining strength, but it is expected to slowly weaken a little bit. It's going to move into cooler waters. It's also going to interact with this other system out there, and it's going to become extra tropical. And it, then it's going to loop north and then back down to the southeast. So that's its path there where you see all these L's for low pressure systems. It's post tropical or extra tropical, and that is where it will be by Sunday. So then we have tropical storm Earl still a tropical storm right now and maintaining strength, but it is expected to strengthen some and by late Wednesday night, it could potentially become a category one hurricane. It is then expected to strengthen into a category two hurricane by Thursday, and that will be when it's very near Bermuda, likely passing to the southeast of Bermuda and then perhaps strengthening into a major hurricane, a category three hurricane that would happen on Friday. Then we also have two areas off the coast of Africa that we are watching this one wave right here near the Cabo Verde Islands. It has a medium chance of development within the next two days and within the next five days, a 60% chance within the next five days. And then there's another wave that's still on shore, but it will move offshore off the coast and it has a low chance of developing within the next five days, a 20% chance. Here at home, well, we have a lot of cloud cover and some rain still out there. Some light rain activity that's moving fairly quickly over portions of the North Shore. It's very light little shower activity out there now. Meanwhile, over the lake, we've been seeing a little bit more activity. Just those light showers though, that again are quickly moving through. We have a thunderstorm off the coast near Terrebonne Parish. That is starting to attempting to move on shore. Still some rain hanging around there. We'll see if it actually moves in shore any bit more. And we have a little bit of pop up activity near the mouth of the river still near Buras. Temperatures, as we talked about, they are in the 80s because of the cloud cover and because of the rain, but it's humid. It's muggy. It feels like the 90s out there for most of you. So even though we get the break from the heat in the way of 80 degree temperatures for our highs, it still feels like the 90s out there. Now today again, highs likely staying in the upper 80s, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of rain and storms and of course staying muggy. Here's a look at future radar. Again, it shows the cloud cover sticking around, but not really a whole lot of rain, just often on showers, maybe some thunderstorms out there, an isolated thunderstorm or two we can't rule out. And then tonight, maybe some isolated rain hanging around, mostly cloudy, patchy fog, and we will see the 70s for our lows. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of rain muggy. Again, tomorrow is very similar to today, but then rain chances increase on Thursday. I think the highest chance of rain arrives on Thursday and Friday, and we'll really start to watch out for perhaps a street flooding threat by the end of the week, again on Thursday and Friday. We are keeping a very close eye on the Pearl River because it is in the moderate flood stage. In Bogalusa, it crested yesterday. It's still in the moderate flood stage, though, expected to stay there through Thursday. Meanwhile, the Pearl River near Pearl River and near Slidell, it is cresting today. It will stay in the moderate flood stage through Friday. Here's a look at our seven day forecast. You can see rain chances stay in the forecast. I do think Thursday and Friday, though, has the highest chance of rain. This will keep temperatures in the 80s. Lows will mainly be in the 70s on the North Shore, likely coming in the low 70s. I won't rule out a spot or two, perhaps reaching the 60s Thursday and Friday morning, something that we'll watch. But overall, again, not as hot. Our normal high is 90 degrees, at least with all this rain 